the removal of taxes on some of the commodities would mean tax loss to the government of US of Uganda, of Uganda, Uganda shillings 1.53 trillion for petroleum 1.15 trillion for diesel and Uganda shillings 520 billion for wheat if we were to remove the taxes, you, you, you would, you would, the dollars would go more from the reserves. Then the government would also lose, uh, would, would not have taxes. How then do we fund our budget for the roads, electricity, schools, medicine, security, etc.? There are items we do not tax, e.g. medicine. We don't tax medicine. Don't tax it. We don't tax raw materials, etc. It is therefore not true that we tax everything. The very crucial items are not taxed. Therefore, removing taxes or subsidizing many of the imports is suicidal and a blunder. In my head, I had sympathy. Here I'm talking about removing tax on imported products or subsidizing them. This is suicidal and a blunder. Now coming to the internally, in my head I, ha I had sympathy for removing taxes on the locally produced goods such as sugar, milk, cement, etc. Because if people buy more of them, it will be good. They will be buying more local goods. This was until I went to the cabinet and looked at the taxes to be lost. On sugar, would lose Uganda shillings 193 billion in taxes. On cement, Uganda shillings 200 billion. On Mitayimba, steel bars, 120 billion. So these, these, these three alone, as you can see, are already in, ta in tax laws would, would be more than half a trillion, 500 billion. Now, if you go on the other side, a road like uh, Kampala Massacre, when we, re we reconstructed it, we used 440 billion. So the money here that, that we would lose from that, just this. Uh, the tax would be like enough, more than enough, like what we used on reconstructing Kampala massacre. So that means all these plans were planned. This road should be done. This road should be done. This one, this power here, this would now have to stop. All that would have to stop, and we simply consume more sugar, more, 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 more what? Oh, oh, okay, that's, that's good, but is it wise? Is it wise? Because we need to, to, to solve these big problems. Uh, the road, the electricity, eh? but for the internal goods, what you would lose would be the taxes. Uh, because there, 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 there is no dollars. There are no dollars involved. To, 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 you, you lose the taxes. You, you, you lose the taxes, and you would lose the, the, the plans. Which, which those taxes were supposed to, to, to implement. We could see that the route to tax cuts and subsidies. Even for the local produced goods, 
was not a wise one. What then is the wise way? The wise ways are therefore the following. Number one, to use frugare, these imported items, kukekereza, kweremba remba, or kubieso nyua, to look for, for alternatives. If the alternatives are there, either kukekereza, or question you are by looking for alternatives. Number two, to use our own raw materials such as sunflower oil and castor oil and sugar sugar for soap as we wait for the expanded palm oil production which takes longer. But sunflower takes only four months. For bread, we can use our banana and cassava flour. For bread making, apart from eating the traditional foods. For many years now, I do not eat wheat, wheat bread nor rice. I eat our richer indigenous foods of akaro, millet, muhogo, cassava, in Pogora, bananas cooked in uh, their skin. Ebinyowa, groundnuts, obshaza, peas, <coughs> and beef in Yama. Nearing 78 years of age in September, I'm doing very well on these foods. I, I really don't know why. Africans would, would leave these foods. These foods, I, I, only, I was only eating rice when I was in Tanzania, and I had no alternative. But as soon as, ever since I came back, I don't think I've touched rice. For 1979, you can imagine except when I go abroad, uh, outside, that's when. I have no hesitation bearing testimony for our much better indigenous food. Millet is the only, the only cereal in nature that has got protein, carbohydrates, and iron. The doctors are here. They can tell me whether there is any other that has got iron. I doubt, I doubt very much. Mm. To have the three pr protein, carbohydrates, and iron. I had also read something comparable for, for sorghum. However, for the indigenous sorghum, there was the problem of some bitterness. Umukusha Ramu. However, with the biotechnology by our researchers, the bitterness can be removed. We, the Ntungamoists, you can call me Ntungamoist, can call me a man of Ntungamo. The only advantage we found in bread was convenience in storing and transporting. This is the advantage I, I, I saw in bread, because it is easier to store, to, to transport, to, like that. I don't know how long it, it lasts once it is baked. Does it last? Uh -huh. But the, 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 the flour of, 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 of maize, of, 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 uh, of, of a calo, can stay for a long time. And the Kalo can stay for a long time. So I, I think they, they, even the story is, is, is uh, maybe the advantage of bread, transporting and storing when ready for eating. Yeah. But the flour lasts uh, uh, 
long time. However, even that one of ready to eat, uh, this is what Dr. Mranga in Nyaruzinga in Ushenyi is going to solve with the banana flower and cassava flower, which are much healthier than the wheat flower that has got the problem of dry gluten, which is 9.9%. .9 and therefore is not good for human body. The, the, the scientists say that this wheat is not so good for, for the human body because of this gluten uh, which is in the, in, in the wheat. The Minister of Agriculture is going to guide you as to how our farmers can upscale the production of the sunflower and cast oil seeds for vegetable oil for soap making as well as bananas and cassava for flour for bread. Sunflower takes just four months, and castor oil seeds and sugar sugar take 140 to 180 days to produce pods. With palm oil, I hear that Indonesia and Malaysia have banned the export of that item, and therefore removing the tax will not change anything. This leaves the problem of petrol and diesel, products for which we do not have an easy local replacement until our own oil comes on stream in 2025 with the first production and the refinery expected in 2026. And we refine some of it for the final products. Even before the war in Ukraine, the price of fuel was going up on account of the worry by the fossil fuel producers of the global movement for clean energy. Solar, wind, nuclear, geothermal, hydropower, and hydrogen. Because there is that movement, which is a good movement, to go from fossil, this oil, to this, which has got some, which produces carbon dioxide, which interferes with the atmosphere, with these cleaner sources of energy, solar, wind, nuclear, geothermal, hydropower, hydrogen. There was a conference in, in, in Scotland, and there was a plan to, 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 within some coming years, to get petroleum out, and, and we go to electric cars and so on. Now, because of that, of, of, on account of that, of that fear, the petroleum companies were apparently no longer exploring for new reserves. Uh, because of that, Okwera Rikiroko, looking for new oil, they stopped. Uh, Yet, the new clean energies would take time to be available. The Russian-Ukraine war has made it worse. Just before the Ukrainian war, the price of crude was U.S. dollars 80 per barrel. It is now U.S. dollars 114 per barrel. Therefore, the Ukrainian war has added another US dollar 34 per barrel. Of course, this is an artificial addition caused by the countries of the global north, the Bazungu, mishandling their bilateral relations and also mishandling global affairs as well. We are quietly engaging these actors to see how these actors can remove this artificial burden from the world, because now this extra $34 is really caused by our, our Bazungu friends. Because the Bazungu are the ones involved in all, in all this. The Bazungu of uh, Boraya, Europe, the ones of America, and the ones of Russia. 
so we are talking with them quite. I don't want to go into the details here, but this is artificial. Uh, the real structural problem of, 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 of the oil is the $80, the one, uh, the $80. But this extra 34 can, can be removed. Yeah. Because, for instance, I hear, because you see the, 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 the Wazungo are, are fighting. They, they, they have now boycotted Russian oil. So Russia has got the oil, the oil but, but the, it's, I hear now Russia has reduced the the, the amount of oil they are, they, they, they are refining every day but by one million uh, one, one million barrels a day because the other bazungu have boycotted the, this this journey. and because of that you, you have the shortage so this is artificial it's not uh, the, the other one the other one of worrying about the future of oil is more structural, is more organic with, with the problem. So if it were the only one, I think we would end up like $80. That's what it was. That's what it was before the Ukrainian war. So this one is solvable. Even the problem of wheat, those who want wheat, because the, 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 the Russians have blockaded the Ukrainian ports, and I hear within the ports there are 25 million tons of, of, of wheat. So even the wheat eaters could do, if, if these people, uh, if they are a bit humble, because the problem is humidity. Everybody, very, 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 everybody, very gay. Bryomi ye manyinti ye uh -huh. Both the wheat and the, 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 the oil, the petroleum, and even the fertilizers. You remember the fertilizers are also a, a, a problem because they are produced by Russia, I, I hear. So this one, rather, rather than saying that that we should waste our money, our reserves and what abandon our plans because of, of the <laughs> these wars among these people we would rather persuade them so that we, we continue with our plan our plans for infrastructure for for what and try to persuade these people to please remove your artificial problem if they agree, good. If they don't, we, we, we create a higher base for ourselves where we can say bye-bye, you, you can continue with your own things, we, we, are, we, are, we are safer. Instead of aborting our journey for this, te for this temporary uh, and irrational uh, positions by others, then we, 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 may, we, 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 sh we shall not be safer. They, they may not, it may continue for a long time. Do we abort our journey indefinitely or what? So that's why this one, I think the short term is to, is, 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 is the answer is diplomatic engagement with, with these actors who have caused this problem. Nevertheless, this artificial distortion should not divert us from our long distance journey of achieving social economic transformation, because that is the only way of not only increasing our affluence, but also immunizing ourselves against the mistakes of others. We need to continue until we achieve immunity from the mistakes of others. And I can say already we have some immunity. We already have some immunity because of, 
of, of, of what has been done, in spite of being obstructed by some elements within Uganda that many times delay our programs, the way we have been able to transcend the recent challenges of, of locusts. You remember locusts? Locusts, there is an organization called Desert Locust Control. It, it never did anything. We, we, we controlled the, the, the locusts ourselves because we had the capacity. Uh -huh. Who helped us control the locusts? Nobody. Uh -huh. How about the floating islands? Nobody. I even tried to contact some, some people. No, nobody. Uh -huh. How about the, 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 the rising water? That water would have caused a lot of damage, but the good thing is that we had increased the, the, the outlet. In 1964, when the water rose up, the, only, the water which could go through the, uh, the spirit channel was 1,300 uh, uh, cubic meters per second, 1964. If, if we still were like that, those dams would have been flooded. But now we can go to 4,000 cubic meters per second. That's how we were able to, to, to handle it. So the idea that we, we, we slow down our capacity building in order to deal with these temporary issues is very dangerous because, because we may be overtaken by problems. Uh, would rather okekereza the problems that face us and, and continue building capacity. Because it is that which will now immunize us even for the future. Even with the high commodity prices, we are still doing much better than many countries in the world. Our, our inflation has risen from 2.7% before the artificial crisis to 4.9% now. Our inflation is now 4.9%. Compare this with other countries. UK, 9%. USA, 8.3%. France, 4.8%. Germany, 7.4%. Italy, 6%. Spain, 8.3%. Russia, 17.8%. China, 2.1%. Those are the ones who are lower than us. Kenya, 6.47%. Tanzania, Tanzania is also lower than us. 3.8%. Rwanda, 10.5%. Ghana, 23.6%. Why is the inflation still down here compared to other countries? Because of what we did. We have more milk. We have more maize. We have more bananas. More Irish potatoes. More, more sugar. Uh -huh. Now, suppose we had not built that capacity. Where would we be now? Uh, so that's why being diverted by this temporary, uh, then you abandon your long-term your long journey is, very, is, is a big mistake. If it was not for the endless obstructions to our programs, e.g. the palm oil project in Buvuma, Sango Bay, would, would even be much better off. With our coming o petroleum, our coming oil, Uganda would be immune to the external disruptions. Working with our African brothers, Uganda and Africa will be prosperous, irrespective of the actions of the mistake makers, short of using nuclear weapons among themselves, which, which may affect the whole world. Let us, therefore, 
not be diverted. We are self-sufficient in food, maize, bananas, cassava, milk, beef, Irish potatoes, beans, peas, fruits, etc. This, this is one of the most important factors of survival in terms of peril like this. When you have got a problem, this is the biggest factor of survival. Some of the countries in parts of the world, they are very in a bad situation now. Because they depend, I hear some of them depend 80% on, on, on wheat from some other place. I don't want to mention countries. Uh -huh. But for us, we have these other foods. The, the other one is, uh, if it's there, you eat it. The, the, if it's not, the, you, 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 you will survive. Uh -huh. So we already do, because of what we did in the past, we are, we are safe. Because we have most of the things we need. We have got good infrastructure, we have got electricity, surplus electricity. Yeah. Good roads in many parts of the country. Educated manpower. Yeah. We have got good infrastructure, we have a strong army for guaranteeing peace, and we are beginning to pay our scientists well. This question of paying scientists is very, very crucial if you want to have, uh, because with our scientists, uh, we are now making everything except aeroplanes. We are making the cars, electric car, Chira. We are making the, uh, the vaccines. We are making the uh, agro, agro, agro process, uh, products, agro-processed products. <laughs> only, the, only the plane we are not making now. The rest we can make ourselves. But we need a market. That's why we must work with the African brothers. In, apart from the internal market. Nothing can stop us from growing if we work with our African brothers and sisters and other people of goodwill. Actually, in my opinion, the only really serious vulnerabilities for Uganda are two. Continuing to depend so much on rain-fed agriculture and the damage to our incomparably good environment by the encroaching on the wetlands lake shores, river banks, forests, and steep gradient mountain cliffs. To me, these are the only two, 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 two danger points. We must move away from rain-fed agriculture, only and do irrigation, and then protect our environment. Because it is the environment which gives us the rain and the water. I have agreed with both the ministries of agriculture on enhanced irrigation and with the Minister of Environment on restoring our wetlands by promoting fish farming on the edges instead of drying them with swamp rice growing, restoring the forest ETC. We should even agree with, with the coastal countries, Tanzania and, and, and Kenya, on possibly using nuclear energy to desalinate seawater as an insurance in the face of the erat, 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 eratness of the rain caused by the sabotage by the mistakes of the global mistake makers. Me, lack of rain when we don't have irrigation it would be the only thing that would worry me. Uh, that, that's the, 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 the one big crisis we, 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 we should plan for. 
and in the budgets, of, especially of the other year, we shall have to do much more on irrigation. In conclusion, I repeat that the only really serious dangers to our future are reliance on only rain-fed agriculture, damage to our environment, and a nuclear war among the mistake makers. We need to advise our friends, the Wazungu, to please find other ways of how to solve these problems. During the State of the Nation address on the 7th of June 2022, I will touch on the issue of the so-called coffee deal that was being discussed in Parliament the other day. I could see fundamental disorientation in the position of some of the speakers that were speaking in Parliament. Uganda, indeed Africa, being in a slave relationship with the external actors is not comparable to any other factors. But I will speak on this on that occasion in detail. I don't want to touch, touch, touch here and there. To recapitulate, to summarize, we need to know and do the following. Number one, subsidies for and removing taxes from imported products is definite suicide because it will deplete both the family savings and the national reserves, leaving, leading to inability to pay for imports because foreigners beyond East Africa do not accept the Uganda shilling as a unit of exchange. They insist on the dollar, gold, etc. Secondly, the correct, the correct action is to kukekeleza, being frugal, kweremba remba, or these are the ones from outside. Or getting alternatives for the non oil items. For the non oil items. With the internally produced commodities, I was tempted to look at removing taxes because with these, increased consumption would favor Uganda. However, the tax laws of Uganda shillings, 193 billion for sugar, 200 billion for cement, 120 billion for Mtayimbwa, would cripple our budget and the planned developments. Some of these challenges are temporary. We have been having the, problem, the phenomenon of low commodity prices. Because you remember, we, we had very low prices for, for Matoke, you remember. The other year, we, we had very low prices for Matoke, very low prices for maize. You remember, just go back if you, the other year. Uh, even milk. So, the, the, this cycle... Low prices, uh, too, too much production this year, then low prices, then next year, uh, we, 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 we cannot, it's not, it's not safe to continue like that. We have been having a, a, the phenomenon of low commodity prices, e.g. for maize. It is the continued development of the economy that will get us to the stability of a more integrated economy. Uh, because you see, like for instance, if you say we have got a chengera of maize, too much maize, so the price collapses. 
that, that collapsing is, is artificial. Because although we say we have got too much maize, you find that we are still importing animal feed, chicken feed, animal feed from, from Kenya. And yet maize is, is the ingredient for making chicken feed. So when we say there's too much maize, they are, we are only talking about maize for kaunga, for, for posho, for E.T. So what is the answer? The answer is to continue developing, not to be diverted by these temporary problems, and then you, you abandon the long-term answer, which is now develop capacity to use maize fully. Number one, kaunga, posho. Number two, all types of animal feed, chicken feed, what, feed for fish, because all these are imported. How can you say the maize is too much when you are also importing animal feed, chicken feed from Kenya, you are importing the fish meal from somewhere. All this can be made from maize. So rather than be diverted, let's continue you will find that in future the maize is totally fully used and the prices are stable because you will broaden the uses. You will broaden the uses of, of, of maize instead of only being for posho. And when, the, when the posho is, 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 is covered, then no, nobody buys maize. And yet you have got other needs uh, of, 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 of maize. Uh, then it is the continued development of the economy that will get us to the stability of a more integrated economy. Only a few months ago, I opened a new factory of industrial sugar at Kinyara. Because you remember, we were quarreling with, with, with Kenya, with Tanzania, for not buying our sugar. We had a surplus. We have a surplus. Before, the other day, I opened a factory in Chiriandongo. Just four, four days ago, another factory, which is adding another 100,000, 85,000 tons. So we are now going from 600,000 tons of sugar to 700,000. Uh huh. But our internal, our raw sugar, sugar for chai, for tea, our consumption is 380,000. So we are crying. No, but this is all artificial. Because there is sugar, which is called industrial sugar which is needed for making soft drinks for Coca-Cola, needed for syrups, for medicines. We didn't have that. We were, import, we were importing it. And I think we were spending uh, like $30 million, and we were importing about 100000 So we were crying that we had too much sugar, yet we were importing industrial sugar, the, the refined sugar. So what is the answer? The answer, instead of being diverted, is to develop capacity and, 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 and like we have done now in Kinyara, we opened the factory for industrial sugar. So apart from the 380,000, which is used for chai, now we have got an extra 100,000, which needs to be processed into industrial sugar so that we stop importing industrial sugar. And we are also planning to convert sugar into ethanol and use it as petroleum. So that this business of having too much one year and then next the, the prices go down and then next year we have we, we, some... We are not likely to have any shortage from the internal products. It is only the, the external ones that can be in shortage. Therefore, rather than about our, our work, let's continue. You will see that we shall cover all these gaps 
by not stopping. If we stop to kumaga maga, we shall be creating problems for ourselves. Only a few months ago, I opened a new factory of industrial sugar in Chinyara. This is the sugar that is used in Kokora as refined sugar, different from raw sugar for tea. It is also used for medicines like children's syrups. Its opening was helping us to tackle the issue of surplus sugar. There are plans to get petrol out of our sugar. With that phenomenon of more integrated economy, the instability of a Chengera, Chengera is the surplus, with low prices today, and then a bulla shortage with high prices tomorrow will be tamed. Yeah. So that we, we have, uh, even for the producers, it will, be, it will be better. For instance, with the milk producers, we went from 200 million liters, now we are at 2.8 billion liters <coughs> of, 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 of milk. And when we are depending only on liquid milk, the market was, had, had disappeared. But then we went to powdered milk, which could be taken out. And later on, there is a factory in Yantonde there, after Yantonde producing what they call casein, making protein out of milk. So you find that to get out of this Erraticness, low, uh, too much production, low prices. Then people go bankrupt and run out, and then there is a shortage. It is to develop a broad spectrum of industrial capacity, which covers not only one item, not not liquid milk only, not not just powdered milk but also the proteins out of the milk, but also the, 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 the butter, the, 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 the ghee, and all that, so that the, the, the product is fully used. The other day I was having a meeting with the Indians. They are coming to, see, to, to work with us how to use the banana, the banana stem. Forget about the banana for eating. Even the stem at uh, Omtumba, the stem itself, has got so many uses. We can make textiles <laughs> out of, of, of banana fibers. Textiles, we can make, we can make uh, uh, fertilizers. We, we can make uh, uh, even, even nutrition or something. Omnyoma, omnyoma wiktoj. The, the core there apparently has got some nutritional values. Uh, so it is that development that will stabilize what we are doing. So there are energy sources. That would be much better than where we are now. It is important for Ugandans to know that even when we get our own petroleum, we cannot sell it below the world prices minus transport costs. Because even when we get our own petroleum, we have to sell it at world prices minus transport because we shall have to, we shall not include the cost going to the to the ocean or coming from the ocean. But otherwise, you cannot sell it below the market price. Because if you do, you create the other problem of incentive for smuggling, where they buy cheap here, they go and sell in Congo, they go and sell. <laughs> it's not all these things need planning and strategy, uh, not emotions. Uh, 
with these few words, I thank everybody and I wish you good luck. Thank you very much. Kundi kuisa tu, nga kutuse waku. Nile Special, a beer truly made of Uganda. Lalala ni? Open an equity bank account today by simply dialing star 247 hash. Anywhere, anytime, any phone. Star 247 hash. Equity. Heda chikadi ni makumi asatunaina hidi visekusawa.